It's Dot, here at Connect HQ. And man, let me tell you, there have been a lot of animal puns in this year's batch of Valentine's Day cards. Aw, I think you're very special. Huh? You are slothsome. Will you, oh, fish, Ellie, be my Valentine? Really, though, who has time to think up all of these? We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Postcard. I must have missed it when I picked up all these Valentine's Day cards earlier. Let's give it a look. Dear Connect HQ, God says to love others, but I don't like romantic, mushy, gushy stuff. What do I do? Signed, Taylor. Taylor, I totally understand how you feel. I am not a big fan of mushy, gushy stuff either. Ugh. But love, it's not just about romance and feelings. There's a lot more to it and I actually had a conversation this week about what love really looks like. Why don't we take a look at what happened? Waltz, everything okay? Not really. The big Connect HQ Valentine's Day card exchange has got me kind of freaked out. Tell me more. I just don't know what to write. I mean, it's Valentine's Day, so I want to talk about love somehow, but I just don't want to sound lovey-dovey. Does that make sense? Oh, I get it. What did you write in your cards? I just covered mine in glitter and figured that would speak for itself. Smart thinking, but I don't think that'll work for me. You know, I've learned a thing or two about love since I've been here at Connect HQ. Really? About what love really looks like. And do you want to know the most important thing I've learned? Definitely. Love others the way God does. Love others the way God does. But how does God love others? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Let's see, uh... Do you remember that time that Maurice and his niece Denise got into a big fight when she started working here? Both of them had very different ways of working and didn't know how to slow down and listen to each other. And... There. What did you do? It was just an unplugged cable. If only all fixes were that easy. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, yeah. Great job, Denise. Only, um, in the future, maybe let me show you how I do things. I have a lot that I can teach you, you know. I told you to talk to Marsha. They told me Marsha doesn't work today, so I talked to Rachel instead. Rachel? Rachel doesn't have anything to do with the parts department. I figured that out, but I thought she might be able to point me in the right direction. I was pointing you in the right direction. We're not actually pointing me in the right direction. Hey, hey, oh, 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 um, is this... Hi. Uh, is this how we want to handle this disagreement? <laughs> In the end, they had to learn how to be patient with each other before they could start to work together. Listen, um, I'm sorry, Denise. I'm sorry too, Maurice. I know you have so much knowledge about the work we do here. I should have taken more time to listen to you. And I should have been more open to your new ideas. I think that if we work together, we're gonna make a great team. Okay, so I get that it's good to be patient with other people. But what does that have to do with love? Everything. God made all of us, and he wants us to treat everyone with respect. That means lifting them up instead of pushing them down. And one way we can do that is by being patient with them. Oh, wow. If that's true, that probably means there are a lot of other ways to show people God's love. You better believe it. And in fact, I think there's a Bible theater in our archives that talks all about that. You want to give it a look? Sure thing. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. This book 
is alive. I'm here to tell you we need one another. You might not know it, but it's true. But God has called us to a mission. We cannot do it by ourselves. Cause here is what the Bible says to do. We've got to serve one another, love one another, own one another, live in harmony with one another. Accept one another, teach one another, greet one another, have concern for one another. Be kind to one another, forgive one another, live in peace with one another. Oh, submit to one another, speak to one another, sing with one another, confess your sins to one another. Hospitality to one another And carry one another's burdens Oh, be honest, be humble, be devoted, be patient And build up one another oh, We got to encourage one another Challenge one another Meet with one another Speak well of one another One another fellowship with one another. Yeah, this is how we know we need one another. And now that you've heard, you know it's true. And God has called us to a mission. We can't do it by ourselves. Cause one another, all together, we can make this whole world better. When we do what the Bible says to do. I had no idea there are so many different ways of loving people. It's amazing, isn't it? The Bible is full of stories of God showing people love, and then people showing that same kind of love to others. This is great news. I can stay totally away from the mushy and gushy and still love my friends. This is easy. I'll have these Valentine's Day cards done in no time. What's that look for? Sometimes loving people is easy, but not always. But I thought since there were so many different ways of loving people that it would mean... I totally understand where you're coming from. But the truth is, sometimes loving others is really tough. Have you heard about the time when Jaden lost her journal here at HQ? I'm not sure. I'll fill you in on what happened. One time, Jaden made the mistake of bringing her journal to Connect HQ. She used that journal to vent about the frustrating things that happened during the day. Which meant when Mike found the journal, he read a few things that hurt his feelings. Jaden realized she needed to apologize for bringing her private journal to work because she saw how her mistake hurt Mike's feelings. That took humility, which means putting others first and respecting their feelings. Oh, Jaden, I'm so sorry. I made your time here at Connect HQ horrible. I've been such a terrible friend. <laughs> oh, no. Jaden, you know what you need to do. Mike, I'm sorry. You're sorry? Why are you sorry? I used that journal to vent. 
to help me feel better after a long day. No one, and I mean no one, was ever supposed to read it. I'm sorry I even brought it to HQ. And I'm sorry you had to read all those things I wrote about you. I don't think you're a terrible friend. You've always been so nice to me. What about that time I whistled the Canadian anthem for two days straight? Or when I ate half your Rice Krispies treats that you made for everyone? Or when I made you run in place while wearing a sparkly vest for 10 minutes straight on the off chance that it might improve Connect HQ signal? Even then, I was really tired when I wrote all those things. And the next day, I realized I got all worked up over nothing and didn't give it a second thought. Oh, that's a relief. I just feel bad for reading a journal in the first place. I know better than that. I should have just- Mike! Mike! It's okay. Love isn't always easy. It might mean letting someone else have their own way. Or being kind even when we are so mad we want to get even. Or asking for forgiveness, just like Jaden did. Those are all ways we can love others the way God does. So wait, you're saying I have to love Mike? I've been feeling pretty angry since he forgot to invite me to watch the movie with the rest of the team last week. Please don't tell me I have to send him a Valentine's Day card, too. Sorry, Walt. Forgiveness is a big part of loving others. And just think about how Mike would feel if everyone got a Valentine's Day card from you, except for him. I guess I would feel really bad, too. I should probably talk to him about what happened. I can't believe how deep love is. Every single time I feel like I have my head wrapped around it, I find something new about it. But... Yes? I get that love is a good thing. Everybody knows that. But is there a reason why it's so important to God that we love other people? Ooh, you're asking all the good questions. The answer is yes, absolutely. And I think the gaming group made a video about love last week that might tell you everything you need to know. All right, let's watch. Hey guys, Gemma here. And I have a question for you. When you play games with other people, have you ever experienced something like this? Someone bouncing on your head? or stealing your power up, or running so far ahead of you, you can't catch up. I don't know about you, but I do not like it when other gamers treat me that way. But when gamers go out of their way to treat me with kindness, that changes everything for the better. They might show me the right way to go, or share a power up with me, or wait for me during a tough course. And showing this kind of kindness to people in real life is super important too. It's like it says in the book of John. Why don't you say this verse with me? It goes like this. John 13, 35. If you love one another, everyone will know you are my disciples. When we love other people the way Jesus loves, we can't help but stand out. Going out of our way to show kindness, patience, and humility is different from the way the world loves, and it shows others why following Jesus is such a good thing. So, the next time you're at school or at the park or just playing a game with someone else, think. How can I show someone God's love right now? It's amazing to think that my friends and family, and anyone really, could know that I follow Jesus because of the love I show them. Right? When the world loves, it can be selfish. The world says, if you don't make me happy or agree with me, I can't love you. But God calls us to love in a totally different way, one that puts others' needs way before our own. We can even give people hope for the future. Really? How? Well, do you remember that one time that I worship went on the fritz? The first time or the second time? <sighs> the second time. When the I Worship app got so noisy we all had to hide in the basement, a lot of us thought there was no hope for ever fixing things. But Alyssa helped us see the truth. That's just like what happened with the I Worship app. Instead of trusting you, Professor Marie and Dot decided to start the app back up again, and everything's been bad since. It's only gonna get worse. But that doesn't mean they're gonna stay that way. There's hope. Together, we were able to stop the I Worship app and make everything right again. We learned that God's love gives us hope for the future, and we can pass that hope on to others. It seems like nothing is impossible with God's love. It can heal relationships, help us put others first, and even give us hope for the future. And the more we follow Jesus, the better we'll get at showing other people God's love. Thank you for talking through all of this with me, Dot. You've really helped. You've totally changed my thinking about how we should love people on Valentine's Day and every day. Are you ready to write these cards now? Definitely. So Taylor, you're not the only one who thought love was just about mushy gushy feelings, but God's love is so much more than that. Do you remember the verse that Gemma taught us? It goes like this. 
John 13, 35. If you love one another, everyone will know you are my disciples. When we love other people the way Jesus loves, we stand out in a good way. That's what we see over and over again in the Bible. When people show God's love, it makes a big difference in the lives of others. And the best thing is, there are so many different ways we can love other people. Every day at Connect HQ, we get the chance to love others. Sometimes we love by showing patience or humility or hope. When we treat others with respect and lift them up instead of pushing them down, it can change their lives for the better. So this Valentine's Day, don't worry about all that romantic stuff. Just love others the way God does. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. I cannot stop thinking about more animal puns for Valentine's Day cards. And I might have made my own. Here, have a Valentine's Day card. I'm not shellfish. <laughs> I tell you how much I love you, but I'm feeling a little hoarse. Do you like this card? Let me know what you think. There is no greater love out there than the love God has for us. And we can all experience God's love. We just need to choose to make Jesus our leader and our number one friend. If you've never made that choice, you can do it today. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice? If so, congratulations! Be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust. 